Hi guys, so today I have a makeup haul for you all. Um, I just had my birthday on April 14th, so I'd get, I did get some stuff for my birthday and also I got a few things before my birthday. I mean, you know how it goes when it comes to makeup. So I have some things to show you and yeah, I'll just jump right in. The first thing that I'll start off with is ColourPop. Um, I did some shopping there. Um, it was right after they, I think it was right after they came out with their new spring collection, so I did get a few things from there, and then I also just picked up some other stuff. I'll start with what I got from the spring collection. I got one of their Super Shock Shadows in the shade Flower Shop. It's just this really nice teal color. Um, it's kind of like metallic-y. It says it is a pearlized finish, but it's kind of metallic-y. Anyways, it's really, really pretty. I will leave the swatches probably like over here or over here just so that you can see them. Um, so yeah, that is Flower Shop. And then the other thing that I got from their spring collection is one of their Ultra Satin Lips, and it's this nice, bright, corally, peachy color, and this is in the shade Botanical. And once again, I'll leave, sw I'll leave swatches for everything, like on either of the sides of the screen for you, but um, it's just this really pretty corally color. It's perfect for spring. Obviously, it was in their spring collection, so yeah. And then, continuing, I got some other stuff. These aren't part of the spring collection or anything, but they're really pretty. So I got four more sh Super Shock shadows. This one is in the shade Nillionaire, and it's this really pretty like brown, I guess you could say, and it has like gold and purpley pinkish like shimmers in it. I don't know, it's really, really pretty. And this is a metallic finish. The next one is in the shade Coconut. I feel like this one is a really popular shade, so I picked it up because like I love blues and teals. I don't know why, that's like my favorite color and I'm like obsessed, but anyways, this shade is really, really beautiful and this is in a pearlized finish. It's just a nice, like, navy, royalish blue shade. It's kind of hard to explain it. It's really, really pretty, though. Um, yeah, so that's Coconut. Next one I got is called Drift, and this is another pearlized finish. And it's just this nice, like, reddish cranberry maroon burgundy plum. No, it's not plum. You know that color. Yeah, um, I really, really like it. It's very pretty. And then the last shadow that I got is in a glitter sheer finish, whatever that means. This is the shade Alchemy. This one's gonna be really hard to see on here, but I will do a swatch. And it's like, it's really strange. It looks like a, like a really light pinky peach color, but when you swatch it on your hand or on your eye or whatever. It's almost like it has no color to it at all except for the shimmers that are in it. It's really interesting. So really pretty for like the lid or something like that. I really like it. So yeah, that's Alchemy. And then I got one of their Ultra Matte Lips and this is in Lumiere 2. It's a pretty like purplish mauve shade. It dries pretty dark on me but I'm really fair skinned so it looks different pretty much on anyone because, you know, but this one was created by Kathleen Lights. I also have Lumiere in like the lippy stick formula, but this was really pretty and I love matte lips. So I figured, like I like liquid lips, you know, so I figured that I would pick this up and this is called Lumiere 2 by Kathleen Lights and I love it. And then I picked up some of their cream gel eyeliners, cream gel liners in the like pencil form. And I'm like so pumped about these. These I've heard like so much about these and apparently they're like really awesome. And I have tried out this one right here and they last a really long time, which is really nice for, especially for the waterline. Um, this one is in the shade Zulu. It's like a really nice, like turquoisey tealish color. And yeah, once again, like these are my favorite type of colors. So I was super pumped to pick this one up. And then I got three more. I got the shade Prance. This one's just like a, it's like a bluish, like almost like a bluish periwinkle color. Um, 
I don't know, it's really pretty. So that one is Prance. And then I got um, this, it's like a rose goldish shade. This one is called Get Paid. I don't know if you can see it, but I said I would swatch it, so I'll swatch it for you. Yeah, that one's Get Paid. It's a rose gold color. And then I just got a simple nude one so that you can like open up your eyes on the waterline or whatever. And yeah, this one is called Honey Dude. Right? Honey Dude, yeah. And then the last thing that I got was one of their brow pencils. And I just got the shade Dope Taupe because I figured that would match like my hair color the best. But I feel like it's almost too warm. It doesn't really seem like a taupish color to me, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but yeah. So just a brow pencil. And that is all I got from ColourPop. Now, I'll get into one of my Sephora trips. I'm obsessed. Um, actually, two Sephora trips. Two Sephora trips. Um, I'll start with the first one. So, I like don't have a lot of blushes. I'm like a lipstick hoarder, but I don't have very many bronzers. I don't have many contour kits. I actually have no contour kits. The only bronzer I have is Hula Bronzer, and that's the only contour I have too, but yeah, and I'm slacking in the blush department too. So I picked up this one by Urban Decay. It is the Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush in Fetish. It just looks like this. Very, very pretty. It's a nice, like, neutral shade. Like, this could go with really any look. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can really tell, but... Yeah, it's a beautiful shade, and they're nice and creamy. Um, they're just awesome. So I want to pick up a few more um, shades in this blush formula. So yeah, and then I got this little trio palette from Makeup Forever. I just picked out three shadows that I wanted and then I got the little palette for free. So these are the three shades that I got. There's this like nice cranberry one, this like really bright orangish color, and then this really, really pretty teal color. Um, these are really hard to pop out. So when I'm editing this video, I'll pop out the shades and I'll put them on the screen while I like put up the swatches or whatever so that you can know what the shades are called. But um, yeah, these are the shades that I got. And they're so vibrant and so beautiful. They are a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it because they are a pretty decent sized eyeshadow. Like, they're bigger than my eyeball, you know? Maybe not. That probably doesn't make any sense. But anyways, they're really pretty. And yeah, kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it because they're really nice quality and... They're pretty big, so I got those. And then the last thing that I got from this Sephora trip is one of the Kat Von D Old Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And I don't honestly really know why I picked up this shade because I really want like Bow and Arrow or Noble or something like that. But for some reason, I decided to be bold and I got this bright orange color. Don't really know if it even would look good on me or not. I did try it on once, but I didn't have any other makeup on when I tried it, so obviously it's not going to look the same, but um, I got this shade. It's really bright orange. It's called A Go Go. And yeah, I think it would be good for spring. It's really intense, but I mean, if you like that, then go for it. I'm going to try it out eventually. So I got that. Then my next Sephora shopping trip, I only picked up one thing. I tried to get like color matched for a foundation because I feel like the one I'm wearing now doesn't really match me that well. You probably can't tell but I feel like it's a little too dark because I'm like really white right now. Like I'm really white like all the time but you know. So I can't really find a foundation for me but I got this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation because I've heard amazing things about it. I haven't tried it yet but I will. And I got the shade R two six zero it's probably like the lightest shade they have I don't know but you know what do you do um I did get three more Kylie lip kits um I did have I think four before that I did a uh, a lip swatch video on those if you want to see that video then I will link it down in the description box but I did pick up three more I got the shade 22 which is just it's a really interesting shade. It's like a brownish orange kind of color. Once again, I'll do swatches for this so that you can see it, but it also comes with the lip liner as usual. And yeah, so I got 22. And then I also picked up 
Candy K, which is one of the original colors that she first came out with. And it's just a really pretty, like, light pinky nude. And, of course, the lip liner. I think this one might be my favorite. I don't know. I really like this one, and I love Coco K also. I used to not really like nude shades, but for some reason now I'm, like, deciding that I like nude shades all of a sudden. But I really love Candy K. And then the last one that I got is actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this one is Court K. So this is just, like... A dark like berry purplish color um, the first time that I tried it on it was extremely streaky and it started to crumble if I would try to put another layer on top of it so I was really disappointed with that um, I did try it out again today with the lip liner all over my lips underneath it and that helped with the streakiness so I actually really like it I just don't think that you should need to put a lip liner all the way underneath your lips for it not to be streaky I feel like it just shouldn't be streaky you know but it is really pretty, so court K. And then for my birthday, I picked up a few things from... Well, I picked up one thing from Sigma, and then I got like a little free gift with it. But I got the Sigma Spa Cleaning... Spa Brush Cleaning Mat. So basically what you do is you just put this in your sink, and you can clean your brushes on it. I'm collecting more brushes now because I kind of need them. And um, I figured that this would make it a little bit faster. It has like a, a rinse, a refine, and a wash section for both like eye brushes and then face brushes. And I think that this is going to be super helpful and make it like so much easier to clean my brushes. So yeah, I got this. And it just like suctions. There's a paper on here, but it just, you can see the little suction thingies. It just suctions to the bottom of your sink. And then you just like put soap and swirl it and... You're good. So I got that, and then the free little gift that I got with it was one of their, I don't know if it's a liquid lipstick or if it's like a lip gloss, but it's called a Lip Vex. They gave me like two little mini ones. And this is in the shade Hint. It's like a, like a mauve grayish purple color. I don't know. So yeah, I haven't tried that out yet, but I will. And then the last place that I got stuff from was Morphe Brushes because I need to expand my brush collection. Like I just said, I'm trying to expand my brush collection. So, well, first of all, to go with that cleaning mat thing, I got a couple of the Boulevard Cosmetics Makeup Brush Shampoo and Conditioners. If you have seen Desi Perkins' video on how she cleans her makeup brushes, she actually used this and that mat that I just showed you also and... Seems like it works really well, and yeah. I got them in lemongrass. It smells decent. I thought it would smell like lemon, but it's kind of like earthy smelling too, which I guess lemongrass, that kind of makes sense. But So I, I just got two of those to help me clean my brushes. And then the brushes. Right her. I gotta open it though. <laughs> I didn't want to use them before I filmed this video because I want them to be clean for you, you know? So, first off, this one looks cool. This is the M310 brush. It's just a fan brush. I've heard so much about this one. Everyone uses it for highlighter on their cheekbones. And yeah, it just looks super cool. Yeah, fan brush. So yeah, I'll be using that. This is the Morphe M527. It's like a flat, like a big, like flat, fluffy brush. Like kind of like, it's like a paddle kind of. And yeah, you just, you know, bronze up the face with it. And these are really, really soft and good quality. So if you ever need brushes, I suggest Morphe brushes because they're really good quality and they're also extremely affordable. So yeah, this is the M527. The next one I got is the M530, just looks like this. Um, I'm pretty sure Nikki Tutorials uses this for contouring, so I thought I would get it because I need new brushes and I had to look at like people's su suggestions, otherwise I wouldn't know what to get, but Morphe M530. 
And then the rest are, oh, I guess this isn't an eye brush. This is like a blush brush. This is part of their Elite collection and it's so soft I like can't even handle it. But this is the Morphe E4. It's just like an angled brush like that and um, it'd be good for blush. You could use it for contour, really whatever you want, but it's super soft. These are a little bit more expensive. The Elite collection is a little more expensive, but they're also like way softer and like way nicer. So I think it's worth the money, but. And then the rest are eye brushes. I got the M506, which is just this little teeny tiny brush. I figured this would be really good to get like deep in the crease and make it really defined and stuff. So yeah, I got that one. And then I got the E22. This is just a nice like fluffy kind of brush. Be good for like blending or you could use it for like concealer or something like that. I don't really know, but I mean, I have to play with these and see how I like them, but this is the E22. The next one is the E18. It's just this little tiny, it's almost like a pencil brush. And I figured this would be really good for like smudging underneath the lash line. Or once again, you could use this in the crease. Um, yeah, you could use it for lots of things, but it's really nice. It's really small and it's pretty dense. So it seems really nice. And then I got the... M514, this is just like a long, like kind of fluffy brush. Once again, you could use this like in the crease. You could probably use it on your lower lash line also. I just needed a variety of brushes to kind of play with and see how I like to use them and stuff. So then I got the M513. It's pretty similar to that last one. I think it's just a little bit fluffier as you can see. So... I don't know. I'm just going to have to play with them. And then I got the G15. Just this little, it's really, really dense. You could use this on your lower lash line to kind of like pack a color underneath there. Um, I don't really know what I got this one for. I can't remember. I'll figure it out. But it's just this little tiny thing. And it's really super dense. So, yeah. And then the last one I got is the E35, which is even smaller. You might not even really be able to see it, but this would be really good for the lower lash line packing on color underneath there. Um, I think it was Lustre Lux that mentioned this brush, or maybe it was the E36 and I couldn't get a hold of that one, but they're pretty similar. Um, I think she said it was good for underneath the lash line, so I'm going to try that out. And I think that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me and leave a comment down below if you want or, you know, whatever you want to do. Also, you could follow me on all my social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Um, they're all kind of different names because they just are. So all my social media I will put down below in the description box. And um, for Snapchat, like sometimes when I do like a makeup haul like this, like when I go makeup shopping, I'll do like swatches on my Snapchat and stuff. So if you want to see that, then you can follow me on there and also my Instagram and Twitter, like I already said. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.